Hello everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the first lesson on flight instruments. We're going to be covering the pedostatic system. At this point in your training, uh, you should have completed air law, three lessons of flight operations and a couple lessons of human factors and completed the pre-solo test air regulations, also known as the P-STAR test with your uh, flying school or with Transport Canada. At that point, uh, you're eligible to be issued a student pilot permit, and you should also have completed and been issued your radio license. If not, I would encourage you to do that uh, before you continue with the ground school and flight training, just to make things more optimum, but uh, we'll continue if you've completed that. In case you haven't already noticed, there are six primary flight instruments in the aircraft also called the six pack. We have an airspeed indicator, an attitude indicator, an altimeter, turn coordinator, heading indicator, and a vertical speed indicator. We can divide these instruments into two divisions. We have the pedostatic instruments and we have the gyro instruments. In this lesson, we will be talking about the pedostatic system. The pedostatic system is made up of a pedo tube, and a static port. The pitot tube measures total pressure. It is connected to the airspeed indicator only. The static port measures static pressure. It is connected to the airspeed indicator, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator. It is usually located on, on the side of the fuselage and measures the static air pressure. Most pitot tubes in aircraft are heated and they can be, the heat can be turned on by a switch in the cockpit. The pitot tube gets very hot and it's used to vaporize moisture when in icing conditions to prevent a blockage of the pitot tube and an airspeed indicator failure. You want to have your pitot heat on at all times in cloud or precipitation especially when the temperature is less than 10 degrees Celsius. Some aircraft have alternate static sources. If the static port becomes blocked, pulling a knob opens the alternate static or alternate air. Inside there is a small valve that selects another static source. It's usually from within the cabin, so it's not going to get obstructed. Let's review. The pitot tube is connected to the airspeed indicator only. The static port is connected to the altimeter, the airspeed indicator, and the vertical speed indicator. Here's a question. The pitot tube becomes blocked. How will the altimeter respond? A, it will under-read in a climb. B, it will over-read in a climb. C, it is not affected. D, it will over-read in a descent. So if you recall, what source provides information to the altimeter. It's the static port. The pitot tube only provides information to the airspeed indicator. Therefore, the altimeter will not be affected. The correct answer is C. That concludes this lesson on the pitot static system. We'll see you in